fishing video today it's an unboxing it's about my Daiwa Lexa LC 100 H that's my light counter reel that I use for trolling and I like it so much that I had to get another one I basically tried to go cheapy and try something else and it just didn't cut it you know it just does not fulfill the same satisfaction and usability and reliability as my other rod uh, sorry as my other reel anyways here is an unboxing for you. Check it out. This is the Daiwa Lexa LC100. This is the right hand reel. Super smooth. These guys come in 100, 300, and I believe 400. Anyways, check out the link below and then you can see where I got it from. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a line counter. It's an aluminum frame and uh, Enter reverse, dual stopper, spool click selector, seven bearing, uh, machined aluminum spool. So the gear ratio is uh, 6.3 to 1. And very light rod, low profile, uh, 8.6 ounces. All right, there it is. Let's open it up. All right. So here you go. What does it come with? It comes with a, what is this? Uh, bait casting reel operating instructions just one set of instructions right here it actually tells you everything you need to know so, so it tells you the parts right there so it gives you the schematics and the parts number list to tell you what you guys need I believe these are also available online so no big deal if you lose how it goes and the other side is an instruction operation and some warranty information so let's open it up so these guys are 165 bucks uh, these were bought from Amazon because I did have a gift card and I decided to use it anyways I love this reel guys it's super sleek check it out there it is so this is a right hand reel right there pretty nice so quick there you got this line counter, very handy guys. So if you never had a chance to use line counter, it's basically, I would say pretty essential to fishing your kokanee or using downriggers and uh, trout as well. But it's just nice to know you have a little bit more control of how everything works. Anyway, so what do we have here? Let's talk about what we have here. Okay, so this area here is the spool clicker. So I don't know if you can see that. We'll turn that on. And when it basically when you press this auto cast button right here, this 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 disengages the spool for casting or letting out line. So if you press this line and simply click it downwards, now the spool will come out. But when you have this spool clicker engaged, it's not gonna click. I don't know if you can see that. But if you have it disengaged. Now it goes out on its own, free spool, right here. So again, have that engaged. Now you have this clicking. So once you have this engaged, you can disengage it by 
rotating that reel okay so what else this has a reset button so this you typically start this before you let out your line so you have an idea what it is i did find that this does become glitchy after a while so you just have to make sure that you reset it every time and it is counting counting up when you are letting out so just keep that. otherwise you're gonna have to reel in zero it out then reset it again no big deal so this is the thumb wheel thumb wheel when the, the auto cast button is pressed now that basically regulates how fast this free spools so this will either free spool fast or free spool low depending on how tight this thumb wheel is so keep practicing on that guy because basically if this is too loose this could over spool and it's gonna be a big burst nest there for you uh, always keep apply always apply pressure on the thumb with your thumb on the spool so it doesn't over spool right another thing this is the star drag right here so this is typically what you use uh, when you're fighting fish so basically tighten this to a certain amount and then what you want to do is pull that line out and see if it's tight or loose basically test it for what kind of fish that you're targeting so too loose is no good and too tight is also no good you can, you can break your line so what i really like as well is these awesome awesome lever Oops. This uh, real handle right here, pretty cool, nice thumb, uh, these thumb paddles, and they're kind of rubbery, which is nice on the fingers. And uh, anyways, you got two of them there, one and two. Doesn't have that crazy power handle, but I think I prefer it this way. Anyways, nice sleek. Check it out, look at that label right there. Yeah, so this is a nice sleek reel. I believe it comes in left and right hand, and I believe it only comes in one color. Anyways, let me know. Let me know what your guys' experience is on this reel. Let me know what you guys know about it. All I know is I try other reels out there and uh, this is by far my favorite. I still have not yet tried the cold water type, but uh, this basically does the job for the lakes I go to. It's a solid, solid reel, guys. Low profile, check out my videos, and you're gonna see how awesome this reel is. That's what it is, I'm excited to try this out again. Now I'm gonna have dual pair. So, anyways, as always, if you like what you see, please do like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what other reels you guys use. This is my favorite so far. Mind you, I basically was using spinning rods before, and this is the game changer. Anyway, it's just fun to use. It's just nice, smooth. It feels nice to use, like literally. Like, you have to get one in your hand to really get convinced how awesome this is. I do want to try the 300 or the bigger spools. But like I say, for what I'm doing, this is going to be good enough. And I've caught uh, at least a four pounder with this guy. But hopefully, hopefully get the bigger ones next time. Anyways, tight lines and see you guys in the water. I got a fish on too. Oh, oh my god, it felt like a tank. It felt like a tank. It felt like a tank. Oh. Before you get it close, send me that net so I can help you. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. Oh, I'm still on it. Yeah, perfect. Oh, this guy's a... That's oh, great. this That's guy feels like a lunker, dude. Oh, I'm not kidding, Sean. Oh, I know, I can see. I can oh, see the bend, buddy. I can see the it, it's breaking my drag. I might have dragged, hit the bottom. No, it's not. This is a big fish, dude. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's, it's slipping off my. Oh, oh my gosh. I hope I didn't snag the fish because this. Oh, this is gonna be the PB. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring it to you. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, dude, this guy is oh, big. He's big, right in here. Oh big. my, oh my God, Sean, Sean, I'm right shaking, right. dude. Oh my God, Sean. Dude, dude, this guy's a big guy. A big old cutty. Oh! 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 oh my god! Holy crap! Oh dude, that's a char. That, that that's a Barden, Dolly Barden. Okay, let me let me just put it in the water. Yeah. Make sure. Sean, this guy's heavy. He's huge. Pull up your stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think we're done fishing, man. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Oh my god, it felt like a tank. It felt like a tank. It felt like a tank. Oh, I know. I and, see the. And it didn't. Yeah, it was. It was slipping. It was slipping off my drag. I know that. Oh my gosh. 
Look at the pink colors, man. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Dude, she's so pretty.